Hi there guys and welcome to this presentation on Windows 8 Editions, part of the free training series that we're offering for the Microsoft 7687 exam. In this lesson I will be comparing the different editions of Windows 8 and will also look at the different features offered by each edition of Windows 8. To begin with, let's start by looking at the different Windows 8 editions. There are three editions of Windows 8 available in total, down from six editions of Windows 7. The first edition of Windows 8 is just Windows 8, which is a basic cut-down package aimed more at the home user and the home market. As such, this is the cheapest edition of Windows 8 available. The next edition of Windows 8 is Windows 8 Pro, which is aimed more at small businesses that require basic business features and functionality. The third and final edition of Windows 8 is Windows 8 Enterprise, which is aimed more at larger businesses that require more advanced business features and functionality. As such, Windows 8 Enterprise is the most expensive edition of Windows 8 available. Simply put, the different editions of Windows 8 offer different opportunities and limitations, and so it's therefore extremely important that you consider exactly what you would like to use Windows 8 for before you buy it and install it. The first big difference between the different editions of Windows 8 is the maximum RAM memory limitations of each edition. This is influenced by two factors. Which architecture of Windows 8 you are using, that is, whether it is a 32-bit architecture or a 64-bit architecture, and which edition of Windows 8 you are running. Don't worry if you don't understand the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit architecture just yet. This will be covered in our next lesson. If you are using the Windows 8 edition in a 32-bit architecture environment, this has a maximum memory limitation of 4 GB. If you are using the Windows 8 edition in a 64-bit architecture environment, this has a maximum memory limitation of 128 GB, which should be more than enough for the average home user. If you are using the Windows 8 Pro Edition in a 32-bit architecture environment, this has a maximum memory limitation of 4 GB. If you are using the Windows 8 Pro Edition in a 64-bit architecture environment, this is increased to 512 GB. If you are using the Windows 8 Enterprise Edition in a 32-bit architecture environment, this is limited to 4 GB of RAM. If you are using the Windows 8 Enterprise Edition in a 64-bit architecture environment, this has a maximum memory limitation of 512 GB. You may have noticed that the 32-bit architecture environments all have the same maximum memory limitation of 4 GB. This is in actual fact a limitation of Windows 32-bit. If additional memory over and above 4 GB is installed in a computer in a 32-bit architecture environment, this additional memory will not be addressed. The second major difference between the different editions of Windows 8 is the actual features of the operating system itself. Different editions of Windows 8 offer different built-in features. Don't worry if you are unfamiliar with any of these features right now, we will be covering them all in later lessons. For now, you simply need to understand which of the features are available in each edition of Windows 8. The first feature to discuss is BitLocker and BitLocker to go. BitLocker is a feature which allows you to encrypt your computer's entire hard drive. With BitLocker enabled, if a computer is lost or stolen, a thief will not be able to gain access to the hard drive. BitLocker to go provides the same kind of protection for portable USB flash drives. The BitLocker and BitLocker to go features are only available for the Windows 8 Pro and Windows 8 Enterprise editions. 
The next feature to discuss is the ability to boot from a virtual hard disk. Nowadays, with virtualization really starting to take off, it is possible to run multiple instances of an operating system on the same computer at the same time. These additional instances are called virtual machines. Each virtual machine requires a virtual hard disk file or VHD file. This is essentially the virtual counterpart for a physical hard drive. With Windows 8, it is possible to boot the physical computer from a VHD file. However, this feature is only available for the Windows 8 Pro and Windows 8 Enterprise editions. The next feature to consider is Client Hyper-V. Hyper-V is Microsoft's own virtualization product. With Hyper-V, you can create multiple instances of an operating system on the same physical computer and run them side by side at the same time. Hyper-V was first introduced in Windows Server 2008 and has been included with every Microsoft Server operating system released since. Until now, Hyper-V has never been included with any Microsoft client operating system. With Windows 8, Microsoft has decided to include the Hyper-V product on a client operating system for the very first time. It is, however, only available for the 64-bit version of Windows 8. If you are running a 32-bit version of Windows 8, Hyper-V will not be included. The Hyper-V feature is only available for 64-bit versions of Windows 8 Pro and Windows 8 Enterprise. The next feature to discuss is the ability to join a domain. For those of you who are relatively new to the world of IT, a domain is a type of network which is typically used by medium and large businesses. In simple terms, a domain uses powerful computers called servers to manage and maintain the user accounts and computers on the network. The ability to participate in a domain network is only available for the Windows 8 Pro and Windows 8 Enterprise editions. The next feature to consider is the encrypting file system. The encrypting file system is a feature which allows you to encrypt individual files and folders on your computer. You may be asking yourself, well, what's the difference between BitLocker and the encrypting file system? The answer is simple. BitLocker encrypts the computer's entire hard drive. In other words, it is all or nothing. With the encrypting file system, however, you are able to pick and choose which files and folders on the computer are encrypted. The encrypting file system is only available for the Windows 8 Pro and Windows 8 Enterprise editions. The next feature that we are going to cover is Group Policy. Group Policy is a feature which allows you to customise the computers on your network. Group Policy is typically configured on a central server. These configurations are then rolled out to the computers on your network. Some common Group Policy examples include using a corporate desktop background or screensaver or forcing computers to lock themselves automatically after a period of idleness. Depending on how group policy is configured, it is possible for all computers on the network to receive the customizations, or on the other hand, it is possible for just some of the computers to receive the customizations. Group policy can be configured on Windows 8 Pro or Windows 8 Enterprise. The next feature to discuss is AppLocker. AppLocker was first introduced in Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2. AppLocker allows you to specify which users or computers can run particular applications in your organization. With AppLocker, you are able to create rules which either allow or deny specific applications from running for certain users.
The app locker feature is only available in the Windows 8 Enterprise Edition. The next feature that we are going to discuss is Branch Cache. Branch Cache allows computers in remote offices and branches to cache or store files which have been copied from a file server or a web server over a wide area network. By storing copies of these files, there is a significant reduction in the amount of data needing to be copied over the wide area network. The Branch Cache feature is only available in the Windows 8 Enterprise Edition. The next feature that we are going to discuss is Direct Access. Direct Access is a VPN style technology which allows computers to automatically connect to a VPN without any input at all from the user. The Direct Access feature is only available on the Windows 8 Enterprise Edition. The next feature that we are going to discuss is Sideload Apps. Windows 8 introduces the brand new Windows Store. From here, you can download apps onto your Windows 8 computer. Publishing an app through the Windows Store makes it publicly available for download. The problem with this is that some businesses might want to use their own line of business apps, which they do not want to publish and make publicly available in the Windows Store. This is where sideloading comes into play. Sideloading simply means installing a Windows Store app without publishing it and downloading it from the Windows Store. In other words, you install it directly. Sideloading apps is a feature that is only available in the Windows 8 Enterprise Edition. The final feature that we are going to consider when comparing Windows 8 editions is Windows to Go. Windows to Go is a brand new feature for Windows 8. The feature allows you to store a full working copy of Windows 8 on a portable USB flash drive. With Windows to Go, you can simply slot the USB flash drive containing Windows 8 into any computer, boot to it, and then access your Windows 8 computer. It is worth mentioning that the computer that you plug the drive into must support booting from USB flash drives. Windows to Go is only available for the Windows 8 Enterprise Edition. That about covers it for Windows 8 editions. Thanks for checking out this free Windows 8 lesson. There will be more Windows 8 training coming soon. Thanks for watching.